In the late 19th century, answering questionnaires in confession books was all the rage, kind of like when we did it on MySpace. Remember that? A French author named Marcel Proust published a set of answers to a questionnaire, and although the trend of confession books died out, his famous responses became known as the Proust Questionnaire. Here are my answers to a modified version of it, with some extra questions by Mr. James Lipton. Music, art, and good company, and food. Oxen. Sputum. Red. Getting strangled with fishing line while I'm using the urinal. You know, like in the monster movies. Justin Pierre. Look him up. Sometimes I act a little impulsively on emotions, good or bad. Disrespect. A $90 polo shirt. I think I have it somewhere. This one. It's a uh, Ben Sherman brand. All this cheek meat and no, like, definitive jawline. Never. Right here and now with all of my YouTube family. All nine of you. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. Solving the Rubik's Cube. The Rubik's Cube. Hoboken. I know it's the name of a city, but I love the way it sounds. This happens to be another city, but Schenectady. No offense to the people of Schenectady, New York. I'm sure you're all a lovely people, despite the ugliness that is the sound of your city's name. Aww, my family. Each member has uh, overcome something, and I draw inspiration from that. In a giant musical number, choreographed by the ghost of Bob Fosse. Fake it till you make it. Okay, now that you've gotten to know me a little better, uh, leave me some comments. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. What was this? This is stupid.